morning guys today i want to share with you the resolving step for the hoverboard not functioning this is the unit written by customer for repair the problem is when you step on the pedal nothing happened all right first of all we need to do calibration to check whether the problem is due to the calibration error first you turn off the unit and put it flat press and hold the power button until you heard the second beep Alright, so this is the second beep and release the button so you will see the light is blinking fast and then we will start to blinking slowly so here you see the light is slow now so you can turn off the unit and then we turn on the unit to check whether the problem is solved press on the pedal the wheel is not moving so the problem is still remain so this is not the calibration error the next step is an initial check on the light and also the view so first of all when we press this right pedal the right light is on when we press the left pedal the left light is on so there's no problem with the light this light is actually linked to the sideboard as what we can expect is a sideboard gyroscope board is fine when we press on the pedal suppose that the indicator light is on but this is off so this is a high probability that the main board is failed the next thing is the view so for the right view as we check the view is moving smoothly on the left view we feel that there is something stuck when we are moving the view this is not mechanical stucking for example something stuck inside the rotation no this is not that the view will stuck when the connection is short circuit the view is connected directly to the main board so we suspect that the main board is having problem the next step is to open up the casing and we will have a check on the main board alright for the next step we just need two box or maybe two wooden block to hold the hoverboard so we put the hoverboard on top of the box and then we use a screwdriver to unlock all the screw Let's open up the casing. Okay, so for this side, you will see one cable is connected to the sideboard. So you just release the cable, right here. And for this side, which the main board is here, there are three cables to disconnect. First one. Is a charging cable. Second is a power button. The next is a front LED connection. So put away all the screw. The problem view is this one, and this view is actually connected through this connection, through these three cable and this one. So we will disconnect one by one to check which cable is having problem. So let's start with the blue color. Alright. Oh, bingo. So after we disconnect the blue wire, the thing is running smooth. Okay. So we connect back and check. Yeah, the view is stuck. Alright. So how if we can disconnect the yellow wire? No, the view is still stuck. How about connect back and then we disconnect the green color yeah it's still stuck so if it is connect two color the things will will run smooth because the short circuits at least to have two wire connected but one wire is having problem it's a blue color problem so from this analysis it showed that the problem is not on the view but it's on the main board so the main board will have to be replaced with a new main board so next we need to disconnect every single wire inside the hoverboard and replace the main board so start to disconnect all the wire
right so here we have remove all the connection so do not worry about the connection every single wire is color coded and the socket is actually fit to only one socket only so if you not fit to another socket which means that you will never connect to a wrong cable so just don't worry about the cable all right so we unscrew the main board there are a few screw which is a screw on the transistor so this is not the screw we want to remove we only want to remove four screw so here is the first screw second screw third and the fourth all right all right so put away the screw and start to pull out the cable so actually you can pull out the main board first okay so right that just start to pull out everything okay the next step is to replace the main board and the hoverboard should be good to go in this video we are going to focus on how to replace the main board if you would like to know more about the main board repair the electronic repair we will try to make another video focus on how to check and how to repair the circuit board so that will be another new video so we just put away the video main board and replace with the new main board so you will find three long cable and one battery cable first you start insert this cable into the tube right and then followed by these two these two cable right push push them in okay all right so about the length like this and you can start to push in this battery cable right so pull here for this four cable this one need to put aside right and then position your main board inside the aluminium frame Next is to fix the hoverboard to the frame by using the screw. So this is a four screw came out from the main board. So we just need to put it back. So right here, first screw, second screw, third screw and the fourth screw. Alright, so the main board is fixed. And next we connect the battery to the battery cable. So this is yellow to yellow. Right, if you hear some spark and that is normal All right push it push it a bit and then we connect the engine cable by following the color green yellow and blue all right so we start with the blue color green and yellow Right, check the view. Yeah, the view is smooth. And then we connect the big socket to this one. All right. And maybe you can clip it right here. And next is a small socket. It's for the sideboard. All right. You can clip it right here. All right. So this is quite long. So you just pull it back pull it backward right so that it can fit here okay so this is the top LED line this is a four four hole socket so you will fit inside the four hole socket so if you if you will not fit it wrongly don't worry so next is the next is here I right, connect the 
engine cable okay, yellow to yellow okay green to green all right and blue to blue okay so next is uh, connecting the big socket this is a socket from the engine okay and this is a small socket connect from the from the sideboard and this is the LED cable so we just uh, maybe we find like somewhere here okay go through here that if you're not moving around and plug it right here okay all right so all connection is done so we just need to arrange the cable a bit all right so make it look nicer okay. you can hide this black socket under the sideboard okay let's see here you can hide it you can hide here Right, this one you can hide here. Right, for this cable, you just push it under cables, and this one maybe you just push a little bit. Yeah, that will be fine. All right, so let's have an initial check on the hoverboard. So you need to turn on the unit. You can do it by connecting the power button. So this small socket is a power button. So you just need to connect it back to the main board. All right. Take off the unit and push away the box first. All right. We will check. We will turn on the unit right now. Okay. The unit is on. And we will have to check with the pedal. Yeah. You see? Yeah. The wheel is moving now. All right, up this wheel. Yeah, this is moving. So we are good to go. All right. So turn off. Back to work. Okay, disconnect the wire. Alright, next step is to put back the casing and the hoverboard will be completed. This casing with the three cable is belong to the mainboard side which is here. First we need to connect the cables back to the mainboard. This is the cable for the charging. It's a four pin socket, so it belongs to this one. There's only one four pin socket on the mainboard. This is a power button, two pin socket. All right, and this is the LED. The front LED is a three pin socket. It's belongs here. So the connection is completed. So we close the casing. All right, next is this casing for the battery side. It only have one cable, and this cable is for the front LED light. It's a three pin socket. You can hide the cable right here. Right, right this this hole here. Like this. You see? Alright. So we close the casing. Okay. Alright, so we gather the screw right here. There are two types of screw. The first one is a screw with a sharp edge sure can you see this is a sharp edge so this sharp edge screw is belong to one two three four and one two three four so there will be four screw for the right side and the four screw for the left side is a sharp edge so we just put it inside the hole all right So another four sharp edge screw is for the left side. Two, three, and four. 
So the rest of the screw is a flat, is a flat head screw. Okay, it's look like this. So this screw is belong to the rest of the hole. Okay, so we got here. So we start to screw back the casing. Alright, the repair is complete. So let's go for a ride. Yeah, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to comment into the section and we will try our best to answer your question. Thank you. Bye bye.